for this but I know people like it I thought it'd be fun to uh, do a little room tour multiple room tours it's where my collecting and the activity of record collecting exists in these rooms so I'm going to show you those rooms um, let's get into it in a second I'm doing this because I just bought this turntable the Thorns turntable which I've wanted for years now it's the exact one I wanted and I said if I ever find it when I get the house cleaned up, which it is right now, it's looking pretty fantastic, that I would do a room tour, so here that comes. If you care, great. If you don't, go on to the next video if you choose, or go check out uh, the vinyl douche. All right, here it is, right now. All right, so yeah, let's try a room tour. Let's take you through uh, the main areas where I listen and collect and uh, where all of that lives. One thing you'll notice first right away, and I'll say this here, is that I don't really have a, uh, what you might call a listening room or a, uh, collection hole or a, uh, a tunnel where everything lives. No, it's all in my living room and dining room here in our house in Ithaca. So there's that to contend with. It's sort of eating alive those rooms, but let's get into it here. We start here on uh, right near our kitchen where our 45 shelf is. You can see all the different 45s we have here. This is, I don't know how many I have, a few hundred, three, four hundred maybe. Uh, this is uh, some artwork. My uh, wife's um, sister, uh, my wife's aunt who passed away a bunch of years ago. This is a hip bone that she uh, did. Anyway, that's there family pictures and yeah you'll see some some of the music books we have here too and the first run of box sets uh, I have them all in these plastic bags which I actually kind of hate but it's just one section of box sets moving along here into the this is the main table my dining room here where I usually do the videos this is a little light I brought home attached to the table Oh yeah, there's me upgrading. I just bought a collection of pretty common rock, but like good stuff. So I'm upgrading the Led Zeppelins I have. And uh, yeah, uh, original Let It Be was in there, so that's cool. Um, but moving along, there's my record boxes. I have a little hi-fi cabinet here, which has, yes, yeah, more box sets hiding away. Moving over here, so some kids violas, and the main wall here, where the bulk of the collection lives. The one thing, you know, I have like another couple of sets nestled in here. Go all the way to the ceiling, oh yeah. One thing you'll see here, one of the things I like to do is I have my collection organized into like 40 or 50 mini genres. And that kind of helps me sort of figure out what I want to listen to and more importantly, what I want to play in the radio. So like, here we have formative indie. <laughs> uh, what else? Blinded visionaries. This will be most of like your outsider stuff. Um, what do we have down here? UK pop psych and freak beat. Oh, exploito. But down here's all the African, African fuzz and funk all along here. One of my favorite, let's see if I can find the card here. Yeah, what I like to call prog-like symptoms. That's sort of the prog-ish stuff. So this is, you know, a whole lot of stuff here. And this is one of my favorite sections, Toast. I came up with that. That's kind of like all of the early 70s, late 60s, sort of singer-songwriter, sort of fried, kind of, you know, a little bit psychedelic, a little bit sort of swampy stuff. I have Towns Van Zandt in there. 
of like, uh, yeah. Uh, I, have, I think I have my Lee Hazelwoods in here. Yeah, this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, like this, I don't know. I don't know if that belongs in there, but that's the original. This, this uh, horse's record. Hopefully this isn't giving you like vertigo. It has my Lee Hazelwoods. All the originals I've collected, Lee. Like introspective is mainly folk and more singer songwriter. Uh, what do we have there? Punk wave. Oh yeah, I forgot about this section. <laughs> Uh, so like I have like a lot of new wave, sort of like power pop, all my devos in there, uh, a lot of indie here, all the jazz in the other room, so, oops, that's mainly what we have in this room. Here you'll see the signed, um, Jeff Tweedy signed this Wilco record back when I was working this album for uh, None Such Records, met up, uh, there was like a release party at uh this wine sort of like oh what was it called somewhere in in soho manhattan anyway i wasn't really gonna do it but my boss and my friend at the time was like all over jeff tweedy and he's like you gotta get your record signed he was like you gotta do it man you gotta you gotta get it signed i was like i don't really care but he kind of pushed it on to me and he was super sweet jeff and he signed it to me and my wife so there it is and I have another copy of this over here. In there. All the Wilco's. Anyway. This I think I've shown. My wife had this commissioned. This is the great UK Kaleidoscope band. With the art. One of one. By uh, Steve Krakow. I guess he didn't. There it is. Plastic Crime Wave. To Dominic. 2008. The Funk. It's all like my soul and funk over here. Funk bastards. We have synth meditations. So that's this room. I'm going to reposition and go into the other room. This is a bunch of secret stuff right here for people who... Oh, secret stuff, we'll just say. <laughs> we'll go box sets. Anyway, let's go to the other room. All right, here we are in the next room. I had a, it was really just the next room over, but I wanted to reposition the lighting, so. Yeah, the main stereo setup. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because I got a new turntable, and I said if I ever get the new turntable and the one I specifically want, I'd have to do a room tour, so here we are. I'll show you that in a second. But here's like all of the post-punk, punk, and reggae. Reggae's all on the bottom, then I have a bunch of like classic rock here. Here's my 1975 silver face twin reverb defender had this since about 2003 one of two main amps i use this and the um uh, silver tone 1965 which is at the practice space so material object space so yeah punk and post-punk is in here or i like to call it after punk punk first wave punk first phase Again, it really helps me sort of figure out what I want to hear and what I want to play in the radio. Yeah, down here, a lot of classic rock. Sort of all the birds, Credence. Um, what else is here? There's that John Cale record. Um, great Birds album. A lot of birds. Beach Boys, the big stars are in here. Anyway, that's all there. And here's a collection, the bulk of what I have. This is actually most of it. I bought this just yesterday. I actually traded for it. I'll, I'll explain that another time, but I'm not gonna show these right now. This is the moment we're selling. Um, it's pretty common rock, but good rock. And then three boxes of 45s. So I gotta go through all that. Here's the main credenza. Some listening, some gear, some bullshit, magnifying glasses. And here's the new turntable, the Thorns TV 160 which Hi-Fi um, Hi Lounge in Rochester had when I walked in there. And to make a long story short, worked out a great deal with them. It's in beautiful working shape. This is the exact turntable I really wanted to get. Now there's the TD224, I think it is, which is a real, be even greater to get, but that one's definitely more pricey. I know Bob Bradley has that one, so. But I'm really happy with this, so. Maybe I'll do a 
thing with it another time, but here's the stuff I'm listening to. Um, ooh, I haven't talked about that one yet. This is the stuff that um, I'll be playing. I've been playing, pulling out all my miles. That's a computer. Uh, these are the Avids. I forget the number, the model number on these, but they're nice speakers. Not amazing, but they're nice. Um, my Mac receiver, Macintosh, 1700. There it is, in all its glory. About to get smelly. It can smell like wood when I turn it on. Love it. There's some cereal on the floor. My acoustic, my old Ibanez acoustic, which I still use quite a bit. I bought that in 1999. I'm not going to take it. Over here, there's a pile of Wu records I always have ready to go. My jazz. Uh, Krautrock is on the top left. I just call it kind of, uh, Kazmishi. Ooh, I think I spelled it wrong. <laughs> jazz. Uh, I, jazz standard I put, but really I have to go through and separate out all the sort of more weird stuff, but... The rest of this cube, most of this cube is jazz, and then down here I have uh, some international, some African, some sort of uh, South American stuff, South American there, and then I have all New Zealand here, it's all New Zealand music. A very small section at the end, films, uh, boxes, what else, woo, more to come about woo. Moving along here, there's a show. Um, yeah, some more art and stuff. This print is pretty important to us. This is, um, my wife bought this, but I was fully behind it. This is a R. Crumb signed print. Robert Crumb, one of, uh, 200. This is awesome. It's supposed to be Ginsburg, I suppose. Or Ginsburg-like, a beat of some sort. Um, it's a little glare there. Yeah, I mean... You'd think that my wife being a fan of his, it's kind of interesting because he's so brutish and so sort of chauvinist, but um, she always loved his prints, so we've had that for quite a long time. That's here. Over here, this is where the this is where the uh, sickness really begins. Some plants. My mom and dad. And uh, this is right here has unlabeled this is kind of all the composers avant-garde experimental but down here is where yeah this bin and then this bin is all stuff i've not played yet for the most part either only played a little bit played a song or two off the radio or haven't played at all these two one two below down there is some more international stuff and compilations this is a pile of stuff i want to show in upcoming videos and right there, this is the very special little slot. This is what I, int <laughs> I intend for all of my 2023 purchases to fit there. So that's everything I've bought in 2023 so far. Not bad. Pretty mellow. Yeah. This right here, this bin, is supposed to be like a listening bin to what I intend to listen to like on a regular basis. But this is actually everything I've played one time and showed on videos. So I want to listen to all that stuff books or you know wall pieces my, my kids but books and then here's country and blues mainly I have a, a, a very special seat there for the Neil Young Archives 2 box set that I don't know what else to do with so it gets its own little chair and over here is this one of my listening chairs and underneath you guessed it It's my VPI. <laughs> we should clean records. I've already shown myself cleaning records, which I thought was pretty nerdy, but now it's a hot topic. So this is the VPI. What's the model on this number again? Um, I don't remember. Oh, well, here it is. So, so everyone wants to know, this is important to show. VPI, Ozone Park, not right near where I grew up, actually, HW16. So, you know. And then more books, my rocking chair. And that's a representation of Brooklyn where we lived for many years before moving here. And then one more room here, let's go into it. Okay, over here, this is sort of attached to the dining room. 
another shelf of records here. This is kind of a bunch of stuff I'm just trying to work on selling, some amplifiers and t-shirts. Uh, this is all mainly some more country and a bunch of like, it's like 80s sort of Indian punk in here. Your Jesus Lizards, your Sonic Youths, your Shellacs, your Big Blacks, stuff like that. And that's all here. More books, more music books here. Artwork. <laughs> this cat. And then, yeah, I'll just show over here. So I could do a bunch of work over here. I have a couple of special nuggets over here, actually. More owls. Um, down here, yeah, we have a steering wheel. Material, uh, material Objects Master Tape from our new record that's coming. That's what we've started working on. Uh, here's a record I gotta show. A few other random records, some Material Objects records. Whenever they sell, I'll ship from here. I do all my shipping from this desk, so. Anyway, and then we're back over here. A microphone for home recording. And we're back here, so that's the room tour. I don't know. Hope that was enlightening. Um, people seem to like room tours. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. My ridiculous uh, breakdown of collection here. All the dumb uh, sub-genres. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. See ya.